As we announced yesterday evening, military forces conducted an airstrike against infrastructure utilized by Iranian-backed militant groups in eastern Syria. The strike was authorized in response to recent attacks against American and coalition personnel in Iraq and to ongoing threats to those personnel. We recognize the significance of this operation as the first of its kind under the new administration. Uh, and so while I typically uh, am loath to get into operational details, given that this has the interest that it does, and it is the first one that President Biden uh, has authorized, uh, I can offer a little bit more detail uh, than I would typically uh, be comfortable sharing at the podium. Two F-15E Strike Eagles dropped seven precision-guided munitions, totally destroying nine facilities and partially destroying two facilities, making them functionally destroyed. The structures were located at the Abu Kamal Terrorist Entry Control Point, located near the Syria-Iraq border on the Syrian side. This location is known to facilitate uh, Iranian-aligned militia group activity. We have preliminary details about casualties on site, but I won't be able to discuss additional details at this time because our battle damage assessment is ongoing. Now, this response was conducted together with diplomatic measures, including consultation with coalition partners. The department notified congressional leadership before the strikes Administration officials have been briefing at the member and staff level today, and there will, and, uh, there will be a full uh, classified briefing early next week. Uh, as we made clear last night, and I think through President Biden's order, he made clear uh, that the United States will act to protect American and coalition personnel and our security interests in the region.